Hi, and many thanks for joining me, Alvis, for another Somerset Real Ale review. Got here a beer from, I watch, I bought from West Country Ales, westcountryales.co.uk. Make sure you check them out. Fantastic little shop in uh, Cheddar, Somerset. Um, this beer is from Yeovil Ales, the very understated Yeovil Ales, so I don't get a lot of views on these, um, these reviews of their beers, but this is their Somerset. And I believe that lovely picture on there is uh, Ham Hill, which is very close to um, to Yeovil. But uh, I love this brewery. I've never had a bad beer from them, and they're such a sort of quintessentially English brewery. And they produce some fantastic beers. And nobody seems to be interested in these these breweries around the country. And and they're they're just really good, a really good English brewery, and I highly recommend them. Uh, but this is this is a bottle condition blonde beer. I'm not the world's biggest fan of blonde beers, but I have had some good ones. So hopefully this will be a good one. And I'll always buy new beers from uh, Yeovil Ales. Um, trying to look for the ABV on it. 4.1% ABV, a brand 500ml bottle. And it's going, going, going all over the carpet. Great, we love that. Oh God, right, hold on, hold on. Improvisation. Well, it's it's lively anyway, so I'm, I'm going to pour it the other way around because because I'm right-handed, it is very awkward to try and that doesn't happen very often. But uh, when it does, it's usually out here in the conservatory as opposed to in the kitchen where it doesn't matter. In the kitchen, obviously, I've got a tiled floor, so beer on the floor is easily mopped up out here. It's uh, a different kettle of fish, but there you go. Um, let's not let it spoil the review anyway. Well, you don't care, but I've got to clear it up. Right. Well, well, considering it exploded, it's pretty clear. Definitely blonde, golden, plenty of carbonation. I expected a bit more than that. Plenty of carbonation. Nice white one finger, foamy head. Let's see what it smells like. Really zesty, um, orange and lemons, slight sort of um, malty biscuit or biscuity maltness, either way. Does smell like it's going to be a good sessionable beer. Um, not all else, really slightly floral perhaps. Very slightly floral. Yep, I'm going to dig in. Cheers, everyone. And yeah, it's a good... Oh! You get a nice maltiness straight away on this beer. Um, it's pretty well carbonated, but not too much. Surprisingly, the amount it fizzed up then. Um, Lovely, there's a sort of mild spiciness in there as well, very, very mild. And that fruity, citrusy, fruity bitterness leaves a subtle taste on your tongue as an aftertaste. Once again, a fantastic session beer from Yeovil Ales. I could happily drink five or six pints of that all night and I wouldn't get bored. It's probably one of the best Blondales I've had. Um, funny, I've just seen Simon Martin, Real L guy, review Buck and Blonde, and he seemed to really enjoy that beer. I just didn't like it. Buck and aren't a bad brewery, but I just didn't like that beer. And um, this is is completely the opposite. It's a fantastic sessionable beer. It's <coughs> it's it's got enough flavour to keep me interested. But yeah, it's very easy drinking. It is slightly gassy, but that would calm down after a couple of pints. Right, I pour the sediment in the bottom, in the beer, in the glass, and uh, see what happens. I don't mind the sediment. If you don't like the sediment, don't pour that last little bit in. You can see it's just clouded the beer up slightly. They don't use massive amounts of yeast in the, to, to um, to uh, bottle condition these beers, there's a bit left on the base there. 
Uh, crafted by the award-winning brewers of finely balanced English beers from the UDS, Yeovil Ales Brewery, um, www.yeovilales.com. Somerset is a blonde ale with light rounded mouthfeel and a tangerine fruity hop finish. Uh, totally, absolutely. Uh, camera got the gold award in 2006 and the silver award in 2007. That's funny because I've never seen that in the bottle before. Uh, so it's obviously been brewed, it's not a new beer, it's been brewed for a long time, so just they, they obviously haven't bottled it. Fantastic. Right, let's give it another try with the yeast in. Slightly made it a little bit chalky, which I don't mind, like I said, and also it's taken a bit of the carbonation away, which it normally does. I actually prefer it with the yeast in, but it's a very good beer. Um, I think I'm going to give that, for a blonde ale, that's got to get an 8 out of 10, because I think that is fantastic. It's a good beer, well worth checking out. Be sure to check out um, West Country Ale's website as well. They've got that on there, I'm sure. And um, order some of it, along with the rest of their range and every beer in the shop. Uh, anyway, I don't work for them, by the way. Um, thanks for watching me. Love to see your comments down there in the comments box, and hopefully you'll join me again soon for another review. Cheers.